My lab has been really interested in using uh, micro and nanofabrication techniques that came out of the um, computer industry and microelectronics to develop um, technologies that can improve the delivery of drugs and also um, understand the biological world in a better way. One area that we're working on is that of oral drug delivery. And this is an area that's been around a long time. But one of the things that you don't realize is that you can only take a really small number of medicines orally. And most of those are uh, compounds that are very stable because you have to go through this aggressive intestinal environment. Only about 5% of any drug can actually make it through. So what we're trying to do is actually engineer new devices that will get drugs to be taken up through the intestinal tract. And when these devices are released, they stick to the intestine and they actually deliver drug right into the intestinal wall. And again, because we're using this highly reproducible parallel strategy of creating microfabricated devices, we can really start to play around with putting multiple drugs in combination, tuning one drug to release at time point A, another drug releases over a course of a week, and a third drug would um, be released after that. And we could do that in one platform or device. This is a, a technology where you actually, sort of analogous to creating a, a photographic print, but instead we're doing this with materials. You know, we've created the design, we have prototype devices, and we're really looking at um, both loading drugs and looking at therapeutic efficacy. So we've shown that we can um, get these devices to stick where we want um, and that they're non-toxic and they actually enhance the, the ability of these drugs to cross the intestine. And now we're actually looking at um, starting to go into animal models that have a, a disease condition. I have collaborators in you know, ophthalmology, in diabetes, in cardiology, you name it, who've really sort of informed how we think about developing technology. I think that's only you know, doable in a place like UCSF where you have a wealth of basic science, engineering, and clinical medicine.